Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. Hey, how you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your freaking host, Belsif. Well, I started working on these draw spindles. We got some three inch draw spindles for the old truck Ruski. Freaking right we did. They started working on this side last night. I got her off. She's a little bit of a wrestle she was, but she's off. I learned a few new things, maybe, and we might try it on the other side together so you can see what I did. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to see. Ugh, I made a tool up that I'll show you in a minute. Maybe. So we're going to need all these tools that are over here. <laughs> So when you're doing this, first few things you want to do down here is you want to remove the collar pins from both, remove the spindle, of course, which you already, or the cowl, or the uh, this thing here, which you've already done, the rotor, take off the brake thing on the bobber, and this that the other thing. So we're gonna remove the tie rod end. That way we can swing this whichever we want, and we're gonna remove the shock bottom bolt. And then we're gonna loosen the two top or upper and lower bolts. How does that sound? Pretty good? I think so. So let's get this one out first, because this is the one we gotta do first. Oh, that's a good one. I can tell already by doing this from yesterday, I'm gonna need new cotter because they're just dipped right over. Friggin' right they are. Oh boy. How you doing, Mr. Cotter Pity? Aw, oh, Dick. It's saying, I don't think so. Why wouldn't it? We've only got so much time left before Summer's here. We gotta get this truck leveled out, we do. You can't drive around with an unlevel truck, if you know what I'm saying. Can you see me? You can't drive around with an unlevel truck, we can't. Because that would just look cocked right over. I'm not in looking cocked right over. Just in person. We all look cocked over in our own way, don't we? Don't lie. You know it's true. Girl, you know it's true. Okay, so when you have this problem, what you do is you put the torque thrust 2600 on her, you put the torque thrust 2900 on her, and you give her a hey, okay, just a little one. So let's find the right size. Oh, nope, it's gotta be here. Yeah, so we'll get that on her. We'll give her a little power and have the <coughs> additor here. Stick her on here, maybe. Oh, come on. What's happening? There it is. The zipper off. And it takes everything with it. See, you don't really need it. Now what we want to do is we want to whack the f out of that and hopefully it lets go, which it should. Sometimes you can whack both sides. A lot of times you can just whack it like that and it lets go. This one here, not so much. Might need a double hammer action. Sometimes if you give her double hammer action, she's good. Oh, Carol. Ooh, hey. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm putting new tie rods in this thing. Just saying. I sure am. Especially now. These have been changed before though, just so you know. I'm gonna use a fork. I don't recommend using it if you wanna reuse something. Cause it will wreck the day. Wrecks all the boots, just cocks them right over. But for this one here, we're gonna have to cause it ain't wanting to move. There she goes. Sometimes it just works best. I don't give a shit what you say. That seemed to be not too bad. So we'll get some of them ordered up, of course, because that one's never gonna be used again. Now, we'll drop the sway bar off her. Let's get that out of there. As soon as you find the right size, that work. Careful. Hopefully you can see, because I can't. I can never see though, you know that. <laughs> get in here, like that. <coughs> There's one, get in here like this. Two and four. Now that's off. So that freed us up some uh, room tension. So now what we'll do is we'll, we'll zing off the old shock, which is on the other side, which you won't be able to see because why would you? I can't even see it. Breaks in the fing way for one. So there's that. Oh my god, I got the first try. Would you look at that? Get in there. Wow. How you doing? Girl. Ah, yeah. It's in there. That one's been changed though, recently, I was told. Careful! Holy 
me. That has been in there since 1987. I'll tell you right now, if you're getting into something like this, every single thing you touch costs you money. Just remember that. Nothing is going to be free when you're doing this. Sometimes you wonder if you should have just left things alone, dude. Especially when that's right there. Like, how long has that been in there? Let me guess. 1987. For sure. Big time, 1987. Holy, I don't even think I'm going to get that out of there, to be honest with you. No way. That ain't happening. That's crazy. Oh, I found something. What's this? Oh, rotten. Yeah, so that was not coming out. So we're going to have to handyman torque shit the hell out of that thing. So this side actually might be harder than the other side was. Which won't surprise me one bit, to be honest. So we're gonna slide this thing in here without hitting my bumper. And I don't, you know, some people say you need a spring compressor. I don't need no friggin' spring compressor for this job. Greg, get with a program, Jim. Who really needs one of that? Just put a little bit of tension on the bottom control arm of the jack. You know, just so it doesn't screw right off on you. Just like that. You don't need much. And then you, uh, we'll get these bolts started. See if we can't get them off. I'm thinking they're gonna come off, no problem. Because that's what I do. I don't worry about stuff, I just do it. So what we're gonna need, we're gonna need a massive wrench. It probably has to go this way. So we're gonna have to loosen this off to about right there. And then I got what they call a big uh, cheater bar, which is pretty small. It's not very big. So, you know, you don't want something too big, just enough where you can get a little bit of torque on it. Like this, watch. See, there you go. Off it comes, just like that. Oh, that's beautiful. So you should build a handle on that now, and we'll get it loose right up to the end here. You don't want to take it all the way off. That way you don't kill yourself. Maybe. Now the top, we'll do the same. But I think it's a different size, if I'm not mistaken. Sure is. Be quiet now. I listened to you enough the other day. There it is right there. So now we want to go the other way. So we'll spin this this way, and we'll torque monster it this way. Got it? Okay, here we go. Johnson, head for it. Johnson, over. Boosh, there it goes. Boosh, just chew that thing right off there. Look at it, didn't even know it was there. So once we get that down, almost all the way off, what we want to do now, keep going. A little bit more. That's pretty good right there. No, maybe a little bit more. Perfect. So if you look down here, I made a tool. So my tool I made, it took a, a washer, a nut, a couple more nuts, a couple more washers, Put them in there just to hold everything centered. Then we'll put that in here. Oh man, did I torque on that thing? I almost wrecked the threads. Can't believe it. I'm gonna have to get that all the way down. How am I gonna do that? I torqued the hell out of that baby. All right, all right I did. How are you doing? Let me get this in the bench for a minute so I can get this turned down. Not sure if this is gonna go in here. Oh, it's too long, Captain. What happened? Hold on, I gotta refat this tool. All right, let's see if this works. So what you do is you lock up two nuts together at the bottom of the shaft. You put this on the shaft, this on the shaft, two washers, a nut upside down. So it's got lots of friggin' force and then that to guide it inside this. Then we put this in here. Hold on, we gotta bring it down some more. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to take a washer out. Or one washer too high. Try that. There it is. So you put this in here like this, then you just start turning the bottom nut and it will tighten up in between the two and you'll see what happens. It's pretty neat, it is. It worked last night anyways. It might not work today because you're watching, but we're gonna find out we are. So we wanna go this way. Captain, we'll tighten her up against each other. Here we go, ready? Things are happening, maybe, maybe not. We'll get her, here we go, something's happening. So I'll just start snugging her up, and what it's doing is it's pushing on the top, pushing on the bottom, separating it. We'll let a little bit of pressure off the jack. So that way the spring is helping us release it. Now when it goes, she goes. So you watch. What's really going on? I think I might have broke something. Oh, maybe not. Oh, careful. Something's happening. There we go. Check that out. Woo, hey. So there's one. I don't think it did the bottom, did it? No. Nope. So what happened there is not quite enough umph on the ding dong. So basically what happened is the nut slid right off the rusty part on this freaking shaft right here. That's what happened there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put her back on, but now we're gonna use just the top of her to buck her off there. So we'll get this thing turned way up. We'll take her almost to the max and we should be able to do it with this still. I don't know if this is gonna be high enough, but we're gonna find out. Remember, don't try this at home, eh? I'm a professional at nothing. If you try this at home, it's at your own risk. It really is. But something should happen here, maybe. It did last night anyways. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen tonight, but you never know. Sure worked on the top one good though, didn't it? Can't 
deny me that. Knock the top one right out of there, Jim. Here we go. Something's happening. No, nope, not yet. We gotta wait for it to grab some grip here. It's not gonna grab. No enough cock inside the socket. It wants to move around a little bit. That's why I had the longer shaft. So let's go back to the longer shaft now so we don't kill ourselves. I don't know if this is gonna last for this one. You can see yesterday when I used it, I put a lot of pressure on that thing to break that lower one. So we might not get her, but we're gonna try. Let's turn this up a little a few more so I can get a little bit more of a lock in. We need this, that, and the other thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to do her without the bottom one. And we'll just kind of separate the whole skins here. We could have a stratostrophic failure here with this outfit. Ready? I'm not. Let's go with the open end. We're gonna need all the force we can get. Okay, we gotta get that lined up. Right about there. Here we go. Things are gonna happen here, you watch. I'm not sure what yet, but they're gonna happen. I have faith in my redneck ball joint remover thingy, my bobber. And it's not working because it's turning. Hold on, it's not gonna work. So, we gotta go back the old way. Round two, or three, or whatever round it is. Leave me the comments down below, because I don't remember a lot. A few hundo. All right, let's try this now. Oh, something's happening, maybe. We gotta get that thing to stop turning down here. There it is. Okay, we got her. So now, we can start to get some power into this thing. Maybe. Yep, we sure can. So we'll start going this way. Come over here. You're gonna wanna see this. All right, so just tighten her up. Keep going. Keep your hands clear. Watch out that thing don't hit you in the face. Because it's been known to happen a few times. Because we're gonna get into some pretty heavy torque in here. We don't want anything to break her face. Because when this thing goes, it goes. You're gonna hear it. Give it a couple taps with a hammer. A little more torquey torque. That one's been on there a while. I don't know if we're gonna get as lucky on this side. But you never know. You don't stop until something breaks. I'm stripping that out, I can feel it. Yeah, it's stripping. Things are happening. And they're not good. Look at that bend on that. Careful. I just bang on the caliper. Why wouldn't I? Woo! That thing's in there, man. Bigger, strong bar than that. Let's loosen that back off. Wow. How are you doing? Yeah, she's bending. All right, so now what we have, we've moved on to uh, something a little different here. Let me turn this light around so I'm not blind the cocks out of you. We went to a different kind of shaft, a new shaft, because the other one was bending, as you've seen there. It just wasn't doing what we wanted it to do. So I've used a few nuts to kind of hopefully reinforce the shaft a little bit, maybe, and see if we can't get more pressure on this thing. Now, I'm not gonna promise you anything because this ain't a very strong setup, to be honest with you. It's kind of a weak setup, actually. We're gonna try anyways, because that's what we do. And if this doesn't work, then we're gonna have to move on to some newer and better things because I really don't want this thing to break and fly in my face could possibly happen and I'm kind of scared of it right now to be honest with you you know what I'm saying you never know what could happen but hey you just gotta take the precautions and use yourself a piece of wood maybe sometimes once in a while oh that's tight like that's really tight like I'm talking tight tight oh something's not happening let's give her a couple whacks with a hammer you never know Nothing yet. Another turn with a pipe gear. Protect yourself at all times, because this could be just a really bad day. A really bad day if you're not careful. Oh, that thing is on there, Captain. I'll tell you what. Something's about to break, I feel it. I feel it in my torque wrench. How's it looking from over there? Crooker decks, probably? I bet you it is. She's about ready to explode. This could be an awesome day for something. You never know what though. Oh, boys, girl, peoples. There she goes, I think. Something happened, maybe, maybe not. I can't tell. Let's see if we can get another crank on her. Oh, something happened. I think we got her, Jim. I think we might've got her. I'm thinking it might've happened. We sure did. There you go, Captain. So the night shift system works. What do you think of that? Not too bad for a friggin' dirty run old stinky old garage press bilsif and that uh that bolt held up better than what i expected it to i thought that one would bend in half in about five seconds i did but it didn't and it got her off and that thing is not on there properly but that ball joint actually looks pretty new well we're gonna change them all anyways i think but anyways now that's done we're done the hard part now we gotta remove the coil spring well the best way to do this when you're by yourself like this is to take the jack and just let it fly 
Let her fly right out of there. There you go. Did it come out? Probably not. Is it loose? Yes, it is. So now all we have to do, push on the bottom and wiggle it out of her. There you go. She's out. She's not out, but she's out. You know what I'm saying with that? She's out, but she's not out. Oh, oh yeah. She's still out, but she's not out. She's not out, but she's kind of out. Oh, let me tell you what, this thing's out, but it's not out, but it's almost out. There's gotta be a way. Hold on, we'll get this figured out. What does this do? Nothing. Why did that, do? that did nothing either? How come that did nothing? Oh, there we go. Look at that. That did something, but it's on the wrong side. Let's go in here and try it. Oh, I think we got her, Jim. There it is. Okay, here it comes. It's all the way you hold your tongue. There you go. It's friggin' right we did. Well, that's how you take off one of them. What is that called? Holy f the dog sent me right for a loop. A spindle. That's how you take off a spindle with dirty old bills. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit notification. Let me know in the comments below how dangerous, how cocked over that looked to you. I'm always in for some good times I am. But it worked. If it worked, it worked. That's all that matters. Hopefully you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit notification. Love y'all. Until next time. You know what to do for now.